Wind was pretty powerful today, and unfortunately, it did cause some damage. In Independence, I talked with one man who had a tree fall on his vehicles, and he was busy in the afternoon trying to get the huge tree removed from the road. Mother Nature brought strong gusts of wind around the metro Saturday, and unfortunately, it was no match for trees. This tree snapped and fell on this home off South Hawker Avenue. The wind was blowing, sitting here watching TV, heard something. I was like, what the hell is that? Come out and I was like, ooh. Pam Fosberg says on windy days like this one, she knew that tree would eventually fall. Been worried about the tree for a while. I was happy nobody got hurt. The house don't didn't get a lot of damage, so that's a plus. Over on East 40th in South River Boulevard, a tree sitting in front of this home split, the limbs and branches resting on the roof and covering the front door. <laughs> About seven miles away, a tree cutting company was hard at work, removing a tree in the middle of the road off North Brookside. It was about 10 o'clock, just high winds. Tree root, uprooted right out of the ground. And unfortunately, the tree landed on Mike Bowen's trucks. The wind kept companies like True Cut Tree and Lawn busy. I've got a few other jobs to go do that weren't blowovers like this, but uh, most definitely got other jobs lined up for today. Even the city of Independence had a crew out helping to get this tree out of the way and the road opened back up. While residents could do without the damage the wind left behind, they are chalking this up to typical springtime weather. This is Missouri weather. Well, the gentleman I spoke with that had the tree land on his trucks said he wasn't letting the damage get him down. He said he wanted to use some of the wood and have a bonfire, so making light of the situation that happened for him today. Russell?